All right, folks, you asked for economy class flights, and I've got another one for you. And this is a Transcon red eye in economy, no less, from Seattle to Fort Lauderdale on JetBlue. As much as I like JetBlue and a lot of what they do, I've rarely had the chance to fly them. So it was interesting to get on board one of their A320s for a long Transcon flight, and doubly so because this one would be on board one of their restyled A320s, which have gotten a nice cab and refresh. Naturally, I booked even more space seats. They're mostly in the front sections of the plane and seem to have really good legroom throughout. I was on the fence about selecting a bulkhead versus one of the rooms behind, but in the end I went with the bulkhead and I think it was the right choice. I always go for the window seat, but on a five hour flight, I want to be able to get up without waking everyone else in my row to exit. The bulkhead made that pretty easy to do. On board, we have personal screens and free Wi-Fi. I love that there's a selection of free snacks and drinks, while you can opt to pay for more expensive beverages and so on. There's a pretty extensive selection too. This feels very premium indeed for domestic economy class. On the screen you get a very nice looking moving map that even lists the registration of the aircraft. You also have various entertainment options including live TV, but I didn't watch anything. Flight next door is going to push before us, and then, then we'll go after him. So, thanks for your patience. It's going to be another five or ten minutes. Flight time tonight: five hours and fifteen minutes. Nothing more than some occasional light chop in some areas. The lavatory on this one is classic A320. Nothing special, but not cramped like newer ones. The cabin crew are friendly and efficient enough, and I get a beer plus some snacks just to give them a try. It's late, so pretty much everyone just passes out. And that's the thing about red eyes and economy. There's not that much to show or talk about. Luckily, you get to skip the five hours of very uncomfortable sleep in a small chair and go straight to a lovely morning arrival into Fort Lauderdale. So, is JetBlue any good? Yes, for sure. I love how they really work hard at offering added value, and I like their aesthetic too. I don't recommend an overnight flight in one of these seats, but if you do a lot of flying, sometimes it's your best option. 
And in that situation, this is not the worst way to travel by any means. In Fort Lauderdale for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee. 